this is where I get all these little scraps of metal and I hold on to these because these happen to be very handy I just used one in a recent video where I made a tool to hold the end of my flashlight so I could get the switch end off and I just used two of these scraps of metal here and they're just the perfect size for that sort of thing so let's give it a cut here See if I can get my coolant flowing here. I've been having trouble with my coolant pump. Switch for the coolant pump, which is right down there. I think that switch has been acting up and it's not turning the coolant pump on. I gotta do a bunch of metal cutting, so I think what I might do is short that switch out, put a jumper in there for now. So I've been having trouble with my coolant pump on this uh, Grizzly 7x12 horizontal vertical bandsaw and the pump is just kind of intermittent and I always assumed it was the switch because I could jiggle the switch on and off and it would kick on and then it would work for a while and then it stopped working and recently it stopped working so you're just to test it out. I put a jumper there to bypass the switch and just make the pump run all the time and again it ran for a while and then now it doesn't run so then I was thinking it might be my coolant filter was clogged up so I cleaned it out it was a little bit plugged but I can blow air through here now still no coolant flow and then let me show you what I found here because some of the other things I checked I was a little low on coolant so I added coolant up and you can see it's it's now up to the level of the strainer basket and what I found was the uh, motor start capacitor is behind that little box there see I've got my meter down there in the bottom corner and I just connected it up to the start capacitor 1.6 microfarads we can get that in the picture it's supposed to be four microfarads I guess that's about 40 percent of its rated value so I imagine that starting capacitor is kind of weak I don't see that it's bulged out or anything it looks okay but I think it's just on the weak side so I went and ordered a couple off of Amazon they'll be here in two days Okay, it's a little bit of a bodge job, but I had an 80 microfarad motor run capacitor and I hooked it up where the 4 microfarad was and the motor does seem to start. Okay, here we go. You get coolant flowing right there and coming out, the, out on the blade guide. I think it's just been a flaky start capacitor all along that's been my problem. Okay, YouTube, got the uh, new start capacitor in there. So, pretty amazing. 4.30 on a Saturday afternoon, I found the old capacitor was bad. So, I found a listing on Amazon, put in an order. They said it would arrive Monday by 10 p.m., late Monday. So then I got an email notice this morning, this is Sunday morning, that it would be out for early delivery. And about noon on Sunday, that showed up. So yeah, less than 24 hours later, and I have a start capacitor in there. Let me kick on the power here. Yeah, there we go, it's working. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got the coolant pump working again. I figured I would get a set of two of them just so that I have one on hand. You know, I don't know how long these will last. This original one lasted probably about 15 years. So hopefully these will last quite a while, but I'm just gonna keep this in my bag of spare parts that I keep around for the saw. Yeah, and that capacitor does fit inside. All I did was I cut off the little screw mounting tab there to kind of reduce the profile and then it, it just fits right, right in under the cover. So I think I'm good to go. All buttoned up and should be good for another 15 years. So there's the shaft under there. 
and that's what I saw. It wasn't spinning, so I knew the I knew it was the motor and not the pump being jammed up. But eighth horsepower coolant pump. But yeah, that's working again. So yeah, that's the part I got there. Two of those for about ten dollars, and they arrived within 24 hours. Can't beat that. And yeah, I did test the capacitor. It tested just a little over four microfarads, so that seems to do the trick. But yeah, I'll put a link to that part in the video description if you need to get one of those. And as always, thanks for watching.